All right, Shalom, Shalom. To the Hebrew Israelites who come in week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of America, which is spiritually Babylon, Babylon and Sodom and Gomorrah, the land, of, the land of confusion. But before we get into it, we want to give our praises. To Yahweh, Yahweh, Bashim, Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Bashim, for Kwa, for Kwa, for Dash, for Dash, for And we want to do a double honor to the apostles of GMS, Satan, Satan, to your brothers, especially the truth and sincerity. And I'm a lesson today. We're going to go into it. We're going to get straight into it. Shalom. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 1. My son, forget not my love, but let thine heart keep my commandment. Come on, it says, it says, Yehovah Yahweh Shah says, forget not his law. He says, keep his commandment. Because this is going to, this is going to be our, um, our stability for, 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 for time to come, all right? Okay, Jacob, Jacob's trouble is right, we in, we in the midst of Jacob's trouble right now. So this knowledge and wisdom and understanding is going to get us, going to keep us going. Go on, Shalom. Go ahead, up. Verse 2. For length of days, for long life. For length of days, for long life. So, by, by us um, hearing this word, attaining onto it, retaining onto the words of Yahweh Shah and keeping it, it, we're giving ourselves life, alright? We're, we're giving us um, a longer life by, by continuing the ways of Yahweh Shah. Go ahead, I'll move real quick to Baka Shah. Because, like, look at the dietary laws, man. What's wrong with this? What's wrong with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah setting up a dietary law for the so called Negro, Latino, and Native American? He wants us to live long. He wants us to have a healthy life. What's wrong with having a dietary law? But two thirds of our people, they figure there's something wrong with that because they want to do whatever they please. But in that, that you're going to be destroyed, man. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah said we got to meditate day and night on his scriptures, man, and his ordinances. And not only that, but when you go to the doctor because you got high blood pressure and your mm -hmm. doctor tells you to stop eating pork and stuff like that, then you will listen. Uh -huh. So what's the purpose of, 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 of the law if you only listen to it if the white man implements it? Uh -huh. But the thing about it is these laws were set for everlasting life. Uh -huh. This is what gives you everlasting life, the, the law and understanding the will of the Most High. You have land laws, land Sabbath laws, where you cultivate on the land for six years and let it rest for seven. That's, clean, that's a helpful help way of cleansing the earth to make sure the earth can properly give forth its fruit. Uh -huh. You know? The Sirach, chapter 1, verse 11. The fear of the Lord is honor and glory and gladness and a crown of rejoicing. The fear of the Lord maketh a merry heart and giveth joy and gladness and a long life. Uh -huh. So when we hear the word, But it says, let all men be persuaded in their mind. Huh. All right. I, I got a quick precept. All right. <clears throat> this is Isaiah chapter 8, verse 20. Verse 20. It says, to the law and to the testimony. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Huh. So, so darkness dwells in, 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 that, in that body. If, you, if you're not taking hold on to what you have about some y'all shot telling you to, to do, if, he, if he's telling you not to eat such and such, such Pork, or you know what I'm saying, uh, a rodent, a rat, you know what I'm saying? He, he, he means that, all right? It's, a, it's, a, it's an abomination to you. So, you know what I'm saying? You can, you can get the diseases and, and different, you know what I'm saying, heartache, and you know what I'm saying? Different, different bad health things, you know what I'm saying, health things to your body yeah. by, by, by doing the opposite of what y'all watch and y'all shot told you to do. That's, that's death coming to you when, you when you do the opposite of what he tells you to do. So, what it says, the wages of sin is death. Come on. So, if you breaking the laws, commandments, and statutes from uh, the Heavenly Father, you're not doing what he commanded you to do, all right? Uh, you're going to end up in death, man. He that wandered out of the way of understanding should uh, remain in the congregation of the dead. Yeah, man. All right, this is the book of 1 John, chapter 2, verse 4. He that say of I know him and keep of not his commandments is a liar Con. and the truth is not in him. Come on, man. Right, oh, yeah. that makes you of uh, your father the devil. Con. And you say what? The devil was a liar from the beginning. You know? He goes away as soon as he be born, be speaking lies. That's Esau. 
So if you're a liar, then you're part of that group. Huh? Huh? And that would make that would make you that would make you all uh, not that part of the world because you 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 hear the words of these of, the, of men instead of the words of y'all about some y'all was not. Right. Huh. And, to, and to say that you're not a sinner makes you a liar as well. Huh. So that's why you pull this what? Put gird yourself with sackcloth and humble yourself. Humble yourself. Huh. Huh. I got a priest that's back you up. Uh, I, 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 I and repent. Alright, come on, go ahead. This is Matthew chapter 5, I'm going to start at verse 17. It says, Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophet. I am not come to destroy but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, Until heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law until all be fulfilled. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But, he, but whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be the great in the kingdom of heaven. Shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So with that being said, you know what I'm saying, if you, if you are like these pastors' churches, if they're telling them, all right, that the laws are done away with, they're going to be called least in the kingdom of heaven. All right, but if you teaching, all right, uh, the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans are people that they are the Israelites and that they supposed to hearken unto the words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, all right, and they and they obey them. The ones that teaching teaching the law should be called great in the kingdom of heaven. Huh. 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 All right, but we can't keep the laws perfect, all right, but we supposed to keep them to the best of our ability. Huh? Because if you break one, you break them all. Huh. So you know what I'm saying? We're not we're not perfect. You know what I'm saying? Only perfect. Only perfect who. The only person who was perfect was Yahweh. He came here on, on, in the flesh and overcame everything. Uh, so, you know what I'm saying? He, he's the only person who can, who can call perfect. Uh, I think so. Hey, Proverbs chapter 13, verse 13. Whoso despises the word shall be destroyed, but he that fears the commandments shall be rewarded. The law of the wise is the foundation of life, to depart from the snares of death. And that's basically it, man. That's what the law was meant for us to do, to keep us away from death. Because once we broke the law, we entered into sin, and that's what broke, bring forth death. So if you're teaching that the law is done away with, well, how, what does the scripture say? All right, um, it says life and death are, are at the power of the tongue. All right, so you're teaching death. You're promoting death by promoting sin by saying the law is done away with. And we don't have to abide by them. We abide by them to the best of our ability. Because the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, are the Israelites of the Holy Bible and they make up the 12 tribes of Israel. Go ahead, I'm <laughs> this, is, this is Proverbs chapter 3, verse 2. For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Verse 3. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. All right, so this, so this, this, this word that we, that we're receiving, all right. Y'all about to your son says he says he says take this drink. You know what I'm saying? Drink it. All right. Receive him. All right. This this this, this water, this truth, it's, it's gonna give us long life. All right. So go back. Give me the top two again about the son. Come on, this is the start of two again. Three. Come on. This is Proverbs chapter three, verse three. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Buy them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. Come on, so don't don't forsake this word, man. We 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 out here we are, we out here on the highways and byways to get the, the uh, to give warning to our people, all right? Because this destruction is near upon us, upon upon the whole kingdom of, 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 this, of this earth. So we out here to give warning, all right? And also we tell you not to forsake the ways of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shem because it's gonna lead you to, lead you to to destruction, destruction. Look. All right, this is the book of Sharon, chapter 30, verse 25. A cheerful and good heart will have care of his meat and diet. Con, and that basically basically go back into, say, Matthew chapter 5, verse 17 on down, what the bar brought out, man. You know, because if, if you do fear Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you will care what you say out of your mouth and what, you, and what people are perceiving for what you're saying, man. You know, just like the brother Kanaan brought out, man, Proverbs 18 and 21. There's life and death in the power of the tongue. You can sow, you can sow seeds of death unto your people by telling them of the philosophies of this world. And by telling them of the philosophies of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Their true heritage and nationality, man. How, they, how are they the gods of the earth that roam the earth, man? You know? Fine. 
and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of the Most High. So they so follow any, a man's law. Yeah, so anytime we come with the truth, the pure doctrine, they resent it. All right, so they go, they, they'd rather go according to man's law and establish their own righteousness. And the first thing out of our people's mouth is like, well, I believe that it doesn't matter what you believe, because you believe in carnal things, what you see with your eyes, what you've heard with your ears, but, but, you, but you couldn't understand it with your mind, which is the soul, the spirit, man. All right? Yep, I'm going to stop there. Let's go, let's go a little deep, but it's going to change the course. Okay. All right, this is St. Matthews, chapter 15. I'm going to start at verse 7. Ye hypocrites, well did Elijah prophesy of you, saying, This people draw nigh unto me with their mouth, right. and honor me with their lips. That's a lot of people say they know the Lord, but they don't. Yeah. They honor him with his lips, but their actions and their works in life don't show it at all. They have no form of any godliness according to the scriptures. Go ahead. But their heart is far from me. But, but that word heart right there means their mind. Uh, all right? Now you have a brain, all right, that, that, that calculates things that you see with your eyes and you hear with your ears and you smell with your nose, right? But you also have a spirit, your mind, all right? But their mind is far from the most high because they don't have it according to knowledge, man. Keep going. But in vain they do worship me. And so how you, and the most high doesn't deal with vanity. So how can you worship him in vain? That's a, that's, that, that doesn't make any sense. It's not possible. All right, so you're worshiping false idols, man. You're worshiping vanity and calling upon vanity. All right, calling upon destruction. You're asking for destruction and vanity and death to deliver you from destruction, vanity, and death. It doesn't make any sense. Uh -huh. Look at this shit. Go ahead, bro. I'm probably a chick, though. I don't know. Go ahead. Teaching for doctrine the commandments of men. Cons. So our people, our people, they, they, they're teaching the doctrines of, uh, of men. They're being lovers of men. You know what I'm saying? Men pleasers. You know what I'm saying? Hearing the words of, of men instead of the words of their powers. All right? Cons. They're being, it, 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 our people love to be rebellious. They love to, to do, you know what I'm saying, other than what, what's right. They love the women and wickedness. Right? Cons. This is Proverbs chapter 3, I'm starting. This is Proverbs chapter 3, verse 4. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of Yahweh and man. So, dealing with his word, dealing with his truth, we're going to find good favor and understanding with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shabbat. Because our people, they, they have, they have a, a zeal. I'm uh, uh, not saying uh, uh, saying they love you. How about some y'all say I know they know say, say they know him, but according to knowledge they understand it, they don't. All right. But with us dealing with him, you know what I'm saying, hearing his words and, and believing on him, we get we get understanding from from, from doing his will. All right. Uh, I got quick interjection. All right. This is the book Sirach chapter three. I'm gonna start at verse 19. Many are in high places and of renown, but the mysteries are revealed unto the meek. Come on, so, 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 lucky. so the meat, the meat are, are the, so, the so-called Negroes and Latinos and Native, Native Americans, all right? So, you know what I'm So, we said it again, it said we are, we are now the renowned. It says, I'll read over again. Right, sure. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 3, verse 19. Many are in high places and renowned. Renowned means famous. But mysteries are revealed unto the meat. Woo! Con, so the mysteries, it says, it says in the scripture that the, um, the, the, the secrets are going to be revealed unto his saints, all right? Yeah. And who are his saints? We, we are his saints, all right? We, we are his children. Yeah, and also right there, just just because somebody has fancy garments, they know known by the whole the whole neighborhood, they, uh, they you see them getting praise from all the women, you see them uh, getting awards and shit, they got a lot of money. You know, the Lord said, even though they're famous, and though what? They sit in high seats. You know, the Lord said what? The mysteries are going to reveal not to the Sadducees and to the Pharisees, and not to the false prophets, but to the ones that are meek and in the spirit of being of perfection, being the spirit of faith, the spirit of humbleness, the, you know, the spirit of lowliness. And that's to be in the spirit of Yahweh Shai, the same spirit as our king. Right? Knowing that you have more after this. Having faith that there's more to come. That's why you're loaded.
This is Matthew chapter 5, verse 5. Right. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Yeah, right. Blessed are the meek. The meek represent the children of Israel. They're going to inherit the earth. But who's the meek of the meek? Who's the Israel of Israel? The elect. You see that? So if you look at the universe, we're a tiny grain of sand on the, on the, on the, on the Milky Way, the earth. And then you got the Milky Way galaxy, which is a tiny grain of sand with the, in the midst of a web of galaxies. That's as big as a tiny grain of sand. Then you got universes. Then you have the Most High. Then you zero in from all of that and go back down to the earth. And you get one person just walking on the beach. And you got the nerve to have some fucking pride. Talking about your own laws. Uh, governing your own stuff. Who's governing the heavens? Who's governing all that out there? Same one that, that needs to govern us upon this earth. 